my name is Edwin Peculiar and you are welcome once again to my YouTube channel. It's a channel where we talk about faith, finance and lifestyle. If you are new here, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell to get notified each time I post awesome videos like this. Today we will be talking about greed. So what is greed? Do you think that there is a thin line between greed and ambition? Or do you say no, I am not greedy, I am an ambitious person? What exactly is greed? I used to think that I am not a greedy person until I went in depth on what greed is and I found out that I had traces of greed in my life. Don't worry, I have worked on it and I am better and I hope that with this video you too will. Let's give you some definitions of greed. According to Cambridge Dictionary, greed is defined as that strong wish to continuously have something more of something while finance dictionary financial dictionary.com define greed as that intense desire to acquire more wealth i would like to define greed as putting one's desire to acquire wealth and possession ahead of others as well as the impact its its negative implication on others greed for me is when we try to enrich ourselves at the expense of others, at the detriment of others, whatever decisions that we make to enrich ourselves or to get more of something at the detriment of others is greed. Greed also describes someone who acquires wealth, wants more wealth, possession, things, that are not necessarily for their survival, but just because they want to acquire it at the expense of others. Let us differentiate between ambition and greed. Ambition is that desire and determination to, to achieve success. Why greed is that intense desire to acquire more wealth at the expense of others. I trust that we are getting the difference. There is actually a thin line between greed and ambition. And that thin line is what I would like to call purpose, a noble purpose. So what are the differences between ambition and greed? Ambition on one hand is purpose serving, while greed is self-serving. Ambition solves problems. Greed creates problem. Ambition promotes hard work and focus. Why greed try to avoid hard work and create shortcuts to achieve what they want to achieve. Ambition is not selfish or destructive, but greed is selfish and destructive. Ambition connotes positivity, but greed connotes negativity ambition can be fulfilled greed can never be satisfied so now we know the difference between greed and ambition let us talk about the symptoms or the signs that would make you make one know if he or she is greedy the first one is envy Envy and greed are like twins. In fact, they work hand in hand. Any life that has envy, anybody that is envious would be greedy. And this has led a whole lot of people to do the most despicable things. Okay. The second one is greedy people lack empathy. Once you know things that you, you're beginning to lose empathy in your life, check yourself. There's a tendency for one to start tending towards greed because once there is the absence of empathy you're no longer concerned about others there is no you're not genuinely interested in the success in the growth and the prosperity 
of others check there is a need for one to quickly check oneself because there is a tendency for one to slip into greed the third is greedy people have an overly self-centered behavior it's always me 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 there's no space in their heart or in their mind for others and this is a mind thing it is not a this is how i am it's a mental it's a mind self mindset <laughs> mindset oh Jesus. the fourth is greedy people are never satisfied they are never content they always want more you know they are like a bird that feels that okay um they do not they are like that bird that feels the sky is not enough for all birds to fly i want to own the whole sky that's the scenario for greedy people they feel that they they want to have everything they deserve everything no matter who goes down for it they should have everything so it might not be as extreme as i am painting it but once you begin to feel that okay you deserve so much at the expense of others notice that i'm always saying at the expense of others i've been emphasizing so much on getting something acquiring something at the expense of others regardless of how others the impact or the implication on others and greedy people are experts at manipulations and they are egocentric the sixth is greedy people are focused on satisfying their immediate need they are not futuristic in their thinking at all all they are concerned about is now 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 let them have it now they're not concerned about who goes down for it they just want to have it now they don't care about tomorrow they just want to have it now finally I found out that greed thrives in secrecy and pride. When you want to accomplish a loan, you want to strike that deal alone, you want to do that, you want to make those money move, you don't want to consult anybody, you want to do things on your own, you don't want anybody to be, to don't want anybody to say that I helped you on your way up and all that that people talk about. So greed actually thrives on secrecy and pride so next time you make that money move you decide to make that decision to pull in to pull in funds for that investment i hope that you do so with a thorough check of on your heart and your mindset and be sure that it is not done with greed but with the ambition to get better with the goal to be a better person and not at the detriment of others i hope i trust that this video was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up do not forget to share this video do not forget to like do not forget to send in your comments your reviews i will be honored to have them thank you so much for your time see you in my next video bye